G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Joel Woodle and oh good morning and welcome back to 7 Days where we are back in Demolishers Only. Yesterday was a bad day, it was actually a really good day to start with but the game never lets you get away with having a good time and it definitely wrung me out like a sponge before too long but somehow we did manage to get away with it. Most of our back is gone, many of our bones are broken, and not many of our joints work anymore. But that's okay, because I have a crucible, I have a nail gun, and I'm still breathing. I still need to go and hand in the uh, supplies that I got from last night, back to trading and get my reward. But before I do, there's some very important things I need to do. You know, there's, there's always something you need to do, and when you've got a view like that out this little kind of balcony thing that I've built here. Sometimes you have to go the extra mile to make sure that it's as snug as it could possibly be. So, I mean, it calls these chairs ugly chairs. I dispute that. I mean, I mean, it's a little bit worn out. It's a little bit, a little bit how you're going, but it's bloody comfy by the looks of things. I'm going to put in, can I get the purple one? Jawoodle purple bear rug. It doesn't actually change the thing, but does make me feel a bit better about it. I'll spin you about, so... You're very ominously looking out at the world. Put you like that. Can I get a purple one at you soon? That's a pink one. Black, grey, not quite, not quite woodle purple, but good enough for me. You can go like that. You can go like that and I can put... Ooh, if I could slink you back a little bit, it might be a bit better, but that'll do. That'll do. That looks snug as. You know what? I don't like, I don't like that it's overlapping like that. I'm gonna get rid of you. I can't just pick it back up again annoyingly. I'm gonna get rid of you too. Make some freshies and just move you a little bit further along. So you can actually use the end table as it was meant to be. Because imagine that though. You can sit right here, look at the sunrise, sip your morning cup of coffee, crunch your, your, your toes into the fur of the bear, and just have a lovely morning. It'd be beautiful. Yeah, that's elite. That's absolutely elite. I'm actually, I'm kind of annoyed that there's a light here already that's... I mean, it's directly over this one, like it's the bleeding hot seat. <laughs> like you're getting interrogated, but I can fix it up later on. I still have an hour to go until trading opens, so I've got an hour to continue to refine this. But I reckon I can make it better. I reckon I can make it better. It's going to need some sort of roof over the top because you can't have your bear getting wet. No one likes a soggy bear. Yeah, look, I like that a lot. I finally found a use for those building blocks, the window versions, the little angled one, and then the flat one. Let in some fresh air. The rain won't be able to get in. Absolutely bonza that is. I can put you back down to there, please. Get my normal loadout sorted. I can do the upgrades for that. Like, actually upgrade the blocks later on. But for now, I've got that to hand in. I'm reasonably well fed. You've got an awful lot of steel in you. Bloody beautiful. And you should have all of that. So do I just need... Do I just need um, gunpowder now? Yeah, I do. I'll get you crafted anyway. I could use the XP gogs, but that's fine. I'm not going to be back in six minutes anyway. You can go away, and then you can go away. So that's got to be my new goal. I need to do the defense. Fix the fucking hall blades, please, dickhead. I didn't do that yesterday. I should really do it today. In fact, I think I have a skill point to spend. Heavy armor. I think I was going into heavy armor. It's on the board, so either will work. No, I need some more points. Miss more points before I can do that. Fair. All the points I need to spend need two skill points for the next level up anyway. So, can't spend anything just yet. I'll save the point for later. Open the door. Make sure we close the door. And away we go. I really need to fix this bleeding road. <laughs> We've gotten to the point now where I've... Ooh, there's a loot bag over here. Where I've survived long enough that now I need to make the world livable again. Like putting... You know, my nice, um, my nice comfy chairs up on the balcony up there and putting windows in. Like fixing the roads doing infrastructure works. I may be the last puppet left out here, but your boy's got fancy tastes. Gonna hand this in nice and quickly. I've got the XP gogs on, which is good. Tier 5 hunting, I, I take the steel, but I can make my own steel now. Tier 5 hunting rifle for almost a thousand bucks. Ammo, pain. Uh, at, at, you're getting a throbbing, resounding... <sighs> Nothing's really giving me the fizz out of that there, Cobber. So, I suppose the steels will be more helpful. Tier 5 hunting rifle, I'm rolling with the sniper anyway. So, I'll take you. Any other jobs available? You've got to fetch and clear, clear zombies. You still haven't finished the tier 3s. 100 meters for a fetch. I can do that very quickly, actually. But I'll give you a chance to prove But it's the OPS distribution center. I've died there before. 
I've, I've tried that before. No, thank you about this one. A pop and pills. What else we got on, what on offer? Really anything else. Super Savage Country. Maybe not. The Ben Departments. And an abandoned office building. I reckon that one's the best call. I'm not going back to the distribution center. My corpse is still smoldering over there. Just quickly double check that I have actually looted these things, which... All right. I mean, <laughs> okay. Oh, I might want to turn off loot respawn. No, that's okay. That's, that's I'll take it anyway. Why not? Oh. Oh. I just got the chemistry station. I didn't think I was that close. Interesting. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to look at Gift Hollis in the mouth at all. That's bloody beautiful. Thank you so much. I never, I, I never deliberately play with loot respawn on. It is on by default and sometimes, clearly, I apparently forget to turn it off. So that is an absolute win. A little bit, a little bit of a question mark on that. Maybe an asterisk on it, but I'm hardly in a position to turn it down. You can go into there. You can go into them. You, you still just make an ammo for that's all right though. Chem station, what do you need? All right, we can we can stifle the celebrations for a moment. I need acid. I need cooking pots. That's easy. I need beakers. Where am I gonna find beakers? I don't. Oh, actually, in like the the airdrops, maybe in the buried treasures, which I got all the way out here. Potentially, potential. While I'm thinking about it, though, don't know if windows can burn, but apparently they can. Could please make me three. Cooking pots. Three out of you. Thank you. It's not going to take too long at all. All right. Let's go get ourselves a beaker. Oh, and some acid. This might actually work out relatively well, you know. I mean, I'm on a mission to a popping pills. Like, the popping pills is where you go to get a beaker. That might work out okay. G'day, knackers. I'm wearing the wrong... Oh, hang on. I'm wearing the wrong goggles. That's the right goggles and significantly more effective. Oh, man, wants to come and check out my spear. As well, he's never going to get the opportunity to, though. Oh, my goodness, that was a pill. That was an utter sausage in bread like it's fucking Bunnings. Get down. Oh, that one. After my great leading shot, I then shanked the easy shot on the standing still demo. We're fine. We're fine. God, I love this rifle so much. I spent a lot of time yesterday faffing about, so I'm going to try and get through today as quickly as I... Ooh, as quickly as I can. Don't do it, Josh. Don't the inner voices. It's like I'm in the Empress New Groove. I've got two cronks telling me things. It's not a dress. It's a robe. And he's probably got a point with his sweet gymnastic abilities. Can I... Can I go, stealthy boys? These, I don't trust these shells hitboxes, but that works pretty bloody well for me. All right, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Come back to the tour, please. Let's not get bold. Let's not get brave. There's no little car park things. Them to trip over and get their nipples in the way. That was bold. That was bold going right up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was almost it. That was almost it. He leapt. He leapt up to try and get his pickle tickled, and I almost gave it to him. This whole series, this whole series is a blink and a shank away from death. It's terrifying. This could work out rather nicely for me. There's some spikes here with some demos on the other side. Uh, yep, yeah, no, we're all good. Turn off the headlight, and... How did you get pissed off? Okay. So how did you get pissed off over there by that? But all right, then if you're, oh, okay. If you're that bloody cranky, then fair enough then. Uh, is there nice any, any nice like avenues down the guts here? No, it's just a higgledy piggledy mess of bloody shelves. Is that your head? I, th I think it actually was. You clipped through and I clipped a bullet through you too. Oh, don't do it, Josh. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not, it's not a necessary risk you have to take. You can take your time. You can take your shots and you can sit them down like that. I'm going to get myself killed. <laughs> I'm only going to have myself to blame. That's the worst kind. I wonder if I need to be in a higher level POI to get the, um, to get the beaker though. I can now make blueberry seeds. Thank you. Because like, I was taking the car park of the prison at tier 5 POI and my loot level still wasn't at 101, which is the next level of looting. 
I'm not sure a beaker is low level loot. So this might just kind of be a, a, an exercise in redundancy. I'm not sure I'm actually going to get what I need out of him. But I have to try. And more importantly, actually, if this is the last uh, quest for Trady, he might give me a beacon as my tier 3 quest rewards. Potentially. It's still like a decent idea, I guess. I'm stacked with garbage. Scrap you. Uh, I need the wood. I don't need you. I could probably actually turn that... Ooh, okay. I could turn that into bandos. Turn the bandos into first aid bandos. Go like that. And follow it up with that. Perfect. Freeing up some space. I'm sure there's plenty more to get, but I'm not going to really push for it. Anyone in the back room? Always check the dead ends first in case there's someone who's going to pin me in. In fact... Actually, maybe that's the wrong way to do it. Maybe check the open sides first so I can lure them out of the dead ends. That's probably smarter. I will take you. The rest of you can stay in the garbage. Is there anyone down here? Oh, I don't want to go underground, though. It's this POI. I really don't like going into closed areas with demos. It's just no one's idea of a good time. But it's already almost midday, so I don't super duper have a choice anymore. That's another aloe. If I can make myself some more first aid bandos later on. Pop open. Come on, stamina. Jeez, you take 60 stamina to power stroke with the um with the steel axe? That's heaps. I, it one-shots the boxes, which is lovely, but that's a lot of stab. To try and negate this risk a little bit, I'm going to put in some ladders. I should be able to make that jump. Yeah, easy done. Easy done. Turn the headlight off. We're going to go stealthy boys through here like I'm bleeding Sam Fisher. And try... Oh, if I... If I had the suppressor, and if I had the suppressor, it didn't take off so much goddamn damage. Got the right goggles on. I was going to say, there should be another one. There was some snap shooting, and I missed it all. Hold on. You're... You're gone, gooey. You're still alive, though. It wasn't clean. It wasn't clean, but it was effective. And I don't... I'm not in a position to argue. It reckons my supplies are up near the entry. And I could do this very cheekily. Can I... Oh, it's right there, actually. Can I reach? I mean, I could... I, I'm more concerned with just grabbing it early so that I don't have to fail the quest if shit goes really pear-shaped. If it explodes like it here I did yesterday, I can just boot scoop my baby like it's driving me crazy and get the fuck out of there. I'll take you. That's very bloody cheeky by me, actually. Thank you very much. The job is now done, but there's loot to be gotten and beakers to be found. Headlight back off, please. Back to stealthies. I haven't cleared this area yet, and there's lots of things to explode down here. Any demos? No? No with a big th fat question mark. God, I hate it down here. Oh, I hate it down here so much. Nice, Gary. That was an insta-kill. Reload because we did every last round. People have been suggesting I put an extended mag mod onto this. I don't want to. I'd rather have extra damage things. But also, 12 rounds should be enough. It's quite a lot of rounds. I'm used to the 5 of the lever action. And uh, the extended mag mod slows reload speed, which I really don't want. So I think I'm fine. It's all nice and clear in here, actually. I think I'm fine with just the regular magazine. I just don't want to slow it down at all. We're coming back up and out into where... Actually, I called in all the demos from before, so it should be nice and empty. Nice, guys. I can really run it out to the car park and drop some shit off into my bike and free up my inventory space. What are you doing, Flops? You're trying to rack me wheels? Absolutely bloody not. I'll take your feet for good luck. You can all go into them. Ooh, I mean, I can scrap this until I get home, I suppose. That's all fine through that one. Got some testosterone extracts. It's actually kind of good. All right, yeah, no, we're fine. All right, back in we go. It's already half past one, though. The days go by so quickly. I feel like I've already just, get, uh, I've already just gotten started. Just looting all the garbage through here has given me another level up. I've got two skill points to spend. I mean, I could save it so I could buy the extra level of perception so I could always have that amount of, uh, that amount of damage regardless of what goggles I'm wearing, but there's very little reason to run other uh, goggles at the moment. So I think... I think cardio is the way to go, isn't it, actually? It's got to be cardio. It's got to be cardio. I was running out of stamina all the time during Horde Night, so I've got to get that cardio up and going. Anyone hiding out in the kitchen at all? That door's been popped, so maybe not. 
And that goes up to the roof. All right, I'll quickly... In fact, no, hang on a second. I need you. That. I need you to stop flickering, please, because there you go. It's hard on the eyes, and I don't really like that. And if I don't like it, I can't imagine other people do too. I'm just going to try and see. Oh, try and see what I can see, 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 like I've gone to see. And what I can see is, oh my goodness, a lot of demos. That's okay, though. You know what? I've been doing pretty well. Oh, this works. I've been doing pretty well of late. That's that. Oh, wait, you can't. You can't take shortcuts. I had you all squared up and ready to rock and roll. And you can't just jump up and circumnavigate all. Oh, good aim. All of my hard earned pathing. But I didn't earn it all. See, that's why I was feeling confident. That's why I was feeling confident because I spat at them and clattered them. They also got me a little bit, but that's all right. No. <laughs> just. Just no, buddy. I'm not in the mood. I'm not having a good time. Go pick on someone else. After doing all the looting and all of the loot bag getting, I uh, don't have a whole lot of space in my pockets anymore. It's already 10 past three. If only I could do like, a little bit of extra damage. A little bit of extra damage. Make a point in the minus 69. I might get one shot uh, going on that. But what have you got? Do you have a beaker for me? No, I don't need the paper either. I might be able to take everything with me if I get really lucky on the loot. Good God, I said that quickly. Um, I'll have to come back. I'll have to come back. I can't leave a full first aid kit behind. Just take what you can and I'll come back up in a moment. Scrap you. I'll come back for you as well. <laughs> I'm shockers. I'm absolutely bleeding shockers. Now nah, I have to check the last one as well. There's no beaker in you. I'll scrap you. I'll come back for you. Dang. All right, well, that is how it is, I suppose. Can I... This is, <laughs> this is gonna hurt a little bit. Land right on you. Perfect. Make sure your legs are tucked in tight, because if you miss that... I've watched a lot of skating videos in my life. I don't think anyone wants to see what happens on the other side of that. It's funny, you know, I actually have no idea where the best... Like, what the best way to find beakers is. Ah. However, grammatically, you're supposed to say that. But, like... A beaker is something that you very rarely go looking for. You only ever really need one uh, in any playthrough. And you usually, I mean, I think I usually find mine through uh, airdrops and things. So I've never really gone out looking for one. And even then, I would have only gone looking for it a handful of times. So I actually haven't got any idea what the best way to do that is. I would have thought popping pills, but maybe like in, a, in like the wasteland or something with a higher loot stage. But if I was sitting at the prison and didn't have a higher loot stage, the pharmacy was never going to give me that either. So I don't really know. I don't really bloody know. But instead, let's go have a chat to old May Huey and see what he wants to give me. I'm a bit cucumber, but that's okay. In we go. Huzzah. Hey, what buddy. I hope you didn't let the dead follow you here. Uh, they're just outside, but that's a you problem. I'm wearing the wrong goggles, so hang on, whack you oh, on. You so my only so hope now is this is the last quest in the trouble. series. <sighs> Shit, and it's not. And it's not. All right, in that case then, you can keep all of that. I'm actually gonna have a quick little chat to you. Do you have a Gravedigger mod? You do not. You don't have any books for me to read either. You restock oh, tomorrow. To I am leaving. Calm your bleeding farm there, copper. I'm going, I'm gone. <sighs> I have to find a different way to do this. Just putting all the various things away to where they need to go. It's... Oh, it's raining outside. See, this is what you wanted, right? See, look at this. Sit on your chair, have a cup of tea, read your book, and watch the rainstorms roll in every day. I would do that every single day if I didn't have to go out there and fight zombies for my life. Medical, in fact, that's more of a materials thing. You go into them. Medical can take those ones. What books did I get? Some rifles. Sniper quality too. Fucking, that's, that's top tier for me. Stoked with that. Still haven't found a beacon. Didn't find the acid. Can't make myself the chem station. What if I can make maybe? I can make my own grave digging board. That can go on the shovel. That will mean I get a damage boost against dirt so I can dig up the treasures a bit easier. Smart cricket by me. And then after you're done with that, you can scrap that and that and that. Fuck yes. I've got that grave digger mod on my shovel now. I think I'm good for most of this stuff. I will grab... Got any extra coffees for me anywhere? You do. Beautiful. You need some extra fuel in you as well. Get your cooking on. Uh, once you're done with that, just make as many waters as you can. In fact, there's some extra fuel for you again. Nice. Crack on. Let's go jump back on the bike. I'm going to need some fuel, please. I'll take you. Jump back on the bike and go and start digging up some of those... 
some of those treasure chests. I'm gonna need some more lockpicks to do that though. And they're done in the bleeding workbench. Right, hang on. How many do you think you're gonna need, Josh? Or nah, you can't get through all four of them with a bloody um lockpicking candy. I don't need that many, but I will take like it's got like 25, I think. We'll grab you. You've got 40 seconds left, so I'll scrap you guys after that. <sighs> Just have so much time waiting. Hurry up and wait! Fortunately, I'm a man that's well known for his patience, so I'm gonna sit here for a second. That's still gonna take minutes, minutes to get. Um, I mean, it's getting late in the day. The longer I wait, the less time I have to dig this shit up anyway, so I'm not gonna have the opportunity to uh, to uh, lockpick them all regardless. Why do I have two? You're, you're my good ones. You need to be sold. So the cobbles with me as well. What? Why, why wasn't I paying attention? Why do I have two looting goggles in there? I'm a little bit thirsty. I'm not very hungry. I think I'm pretty okay. I'll chuck in you. I've got the coffees. Grab the lockpicks and let's go. Ten will do. Ten will do for now. This is the first one just here. Gonna park my bike just next to it. And I'm not gonna leave a free tree behind, am I? It's already half past seven though. I'm not gonna have enough time to get through all of them. I'm just really bloody not. Get you out of the way. Whack on you. And hopefully... I, like the top soul's got extra health on it, but there you go. This is the thing that comes up in the comments a lot, actually. People say that I should, like, take out the top soil in the circle, let the circle come in, and then start digging down. The blocks underneath the grass layer are weaker than the ones up the top. So it's actually faster to one hit all the blocks below than two hit all the blocks on top. What are you doing there, champion? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. How? How did you just know that I was there? Oh, because I got my headlight on. <laughs> All right, probably fair enough. The good news is, is that I'm pretty sure, actually, I said I'm pretty sure, so I should account for me being wrong. I'm pretty sure that uh, with the buried treasures, not the buried supplies, it doesn't call in hordes for each time the circle comes in. I'll just double check that though. I mean, it should be like, judging by this, like somewhere right in front of me. It's not always in the middle, but somewhere in here, I've gone the right way. Come on, give it to me quick. Give it to me quick so I can get to the next one. It's gotta be here somewhere. The circle's getting mighty small. Is it gonna be above me again? It shouldn't be, I don't think. Oh, there, there it is right there. Nice, okay, quickly pop it open then. 10 lock picks. that took me an hour. So it should be like another hour to get to the next one. I reckon I can get the next one just before nighttime falls. It's a beaker, what I want that beaker. Fucking boom in the first crack. Uh, doesn't look like any beakers in here. I'll scrap you, scrap you, scrap you, scrap you. I'll scrap you when you're done as well. All right, we're done. We're done. Let's get up and out. Jump back on the bike and go to the next one, which is going to be... Let's go Sarah's. Sarah's is the one that's out in the middle of nowhere. So I pop off you. The other two are basically next door. Go faster. Go faster. We're going. We're going. A treasure hunt. Here's the next one. It's just next to a... Like an old western village over there, but I don't have time to be ogling the terrain, Josh. Just get into the deck and start moving. We're going straight down. Straight down, please. Get down to the stone layer and we can start digging from there. Hup, just like that. I'll put the ladder up. This is some... Well, this is like kind of my new way of digging for treasure, but it's never really worked out super well for me. Check exactly where I came down in case we... Oh, I thought for a second that we did. In case we got super lucky on the drop. Nah, it doesn't look like it. All right. Never mind then, I'll put the ladder down so I have an escape, but look at that, we're making good progress. This is why you come down to the dirt layer. Ah, oh, shit, we're going the wrong way. Oh! All right, I did go the right way in the end. That's bloody beautiful, that is. Thank you. All right, I was expecting to have to dig all the way across the circle. I was just thinking, I'll just hit as many dirt boxes as I can, just get that circle shrunk as much as possible, and then go find it later. But it was right by next to me. There's the zeros. Treasure cash for some diamonds, some money. Scrap you, scrap you, scrap you. Take the rest. That'll do us. Can I stand up, please? Oh, yep, there we go. A little bit glitchy, but we're all right. We're out. I'll take you. I'm going to gamble. I'm going to gamble. Nicole, I'm coming for you. <laughs> We're not saying phrasing anymore. I'm going for Nicole's treasure. That's also phrasing. This has got to be the most Nitro Express little dig that you've ever bloody seen. Is there any demos? There is a demo to the right over there, actually. I need to clear the area first. Oh, is he far enough away, though? And he might despawn when nighttime comes. Sod it. Just get in there, then. I'm going to dig myself a ramp and hopefully find it quick. 
Oh, this is this is a gamble, Josh. This is a gamble. After the shenanigans yesterday, this is probably the wrong choice, but it's a choice that I've made. Let's go fast. If I fight it before, if I fought night time, I'll be laughing. If I get stuck in a hole at night time, I'll be crying. The ground's going more uphill. Oh, I've got some frame tearing down here as well, which is a bit unfortunate. It's going a bit more uphill that way. Oh, and the circle's pushed me this way anyway. I just want to try and stay on the dirt layer so I can dig as quickly as possible. Come on, another circle pop. Where are you going to send me? I've got nine minutes. Go here, straight forward. It's coming this way. It's coming this way. All right, fair enough then. I'm on the stone layer, so it should be right next to me. Oh, please. Oh, please, fight it fast. Four more minutes. <laughs> circle again. Circle's coming back this way. Uh, left. Let's go left. Just dig a couple of blocks, get a little bit of a little bit again. A gander into the darkness. Speaking of darkness, it's now dark outside. Let's get up and check. Get up and check where they might be. I don't want them to discover when I'm down in the hole. I can't see anything because I'm next to a ridge. Shit. Oh, this is risky. This is very risky. I think right was the wrong way to go. Let's go this way. I don't know. Where is it? It's so sketchy doing this with the headlight off, but I have to. Try and... Try and... Oh, fuck yes! Try and find it while it's still nice and dark. Don't want to cause any more attention oh, than I already am. Oh, shit. I do get a little bit more visible every time I start tickling locks. Come on, Nicole. Come on, Nicole. Just give it to me, please. I'm begging you. Six log picks to go. I'll just wait for my invisibility to drop down a little bit. There's the fucking zeros. Open you. Do not tap R, Josh. Do not tap R. Uh, scrap you. Scrap you. Keep you. Another twelve thousand dollar reduce. Take them all manually, please. Close the chest softly, just like that. All right, we're going. We're going. We're going. Three treasures and a quest in one day. That's some good cricket by me. Please be nothing waiting for me up here. Anyone? Anything? Oh, I think we're good. I think we're fucking good. Nice. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go on. Let's get back home. There's a bloody demo immediately outside my front door. And I've left the drawbridge down, which was hopefully smart. Oh, we're in the wrong goggles. Try again. Better. There's one over there. He's in the prison behind the fence. I think we're okay. I don't think anyone else heard that. Except you. I mean, oh, it's a bold move, but he's inside the prison, so if I can kill him like that, if he drops a loot bag, I mean, I'm a higher level now than I was before, and with the loot and gogs on, maybe, maybe we'll get what we need. Can I get on top of the fence, please? Yeah, there you go. You stand still. Shit shot. Shit shot. Now he's mad. Oh my goodness, I oh, finally, I, <laughs> I start putting pressure on myself and I shank shit like you wouldn't believe. He dropped a loot bag. But it is inside the POI. Get in and go, get in and go. In fact, there's already a hole here. Stealthy boy crouchies. Chuck on your loot and gogs. Don't do anything dumb. Loot you real fast for not a lot. My loot stage isn't even 101, so it doesn't fucking matter. God damn. <laughs> I wish the loot stages got higher quicker. Because it makes the pine forest just so worthless so fast. Just pull her in. Swing her about. Get those drifties going. It's nice and in the garage. I can close you. Okay, do you have anything in you? I'm pretty sure you do. Not is what I was going to say. Home sweet home. Gotta love coming home to this base. I'm I'm so glad I moved when I did. I rarely move bases in the first week, but this time I did. It was definitely a good call. Because this place is sick. I can't help it. It's time to sign off. We're after midnight now, but I can't help but come up to my nice little comfy chairs. I need to get rid of this light. Put a candle into my end table so that is now the light source and get it all looking bloody spiffy, but it already looks pretty bloody fantastic. 
I love it. I love I love just decorating homes in this place. I love I love just making my bases into places to live. And it's not just about surviving, it's about living your best life as well. But I have to come back and hopefully continue to live my best life in my sick ass house in the next episode. It's already day 25. How has that happened? Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.